మేడం లైవ్ స్ట్రీమ్ జరుగుతుంది మేడం నేను ది లింక్స్ కోఆర్ టు కోఆర్డినేటర్స్ కి join within 2 minutes sir he given a message like he'll join within 2 minutes i request my co coordinators to send that youtube link uh, in digital marketing webinar please krishna madam and uh, murthy sir please send the youtube link as well as zoom id మేడం సెండ్ చేస్తాను చూడండి మేడం
Hello. Madam Ojula, good morning, madam. Hello. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Madam, madam, good morning, madam. This is traffic. Madam, group. Madam, group. Lo? Sir, check chain, sir. While doubts are due to you. Ah, no, no, choose, sir. Choose, sir. Okay, sir. No, choose, sir. Murthy, sir. Ah, sir. Sir, this is. I mean, ke din lo rala ipur da ka. Yede. Mana digital marketing webinar two undi ka da link rale. Ah. Webinar two link rale da ka. Ah. Webinar two ke link. Ah, YouTube link. Okay, ne pam pisa ne pam pisa. Ah, pam pisa ne. Sir, already petan chodan sir. Staff dant lo. Staff lo. Ah, staff laga do. Staff laga do. Ah, inko group. अडमिट मन की जूम मैडम उज्ज्वला मैडम यस सर చెప్పండి ఈ డిజిటల్ మార్కెటింగ్ వన్ కూడా అట్లా పెట్టారు ఓన్లీ అడ్మిన్స్ కెన్ సెండ్ మెసేజ్ ఇచ్చాను సర్ ఇందాక ఇవ్వలేదా ఆ అది టూ కిచ్చారు వన్ కేల ఓకే ఇచ్చాను చూడండి సర్ ఆ ఓకే ఓకే మేడం సో యు జస్ట్ టెల్ దెమ్ లైక్ ఐ హావ్ గివెన్ బోత్ ది క్రెడెన్షియల్స్ జూమ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ యూట్యూబ్ సో ది పర్సన్స్ హు ఆర్ రెడీ టు జాయిన్ నౌ ఆస్క్ దెమ్ టు గో విత్ జూమ్ క్రెడెన్షియల్స్ So you once the room gets full, means you just instruct yeah. them to connect and, with YouTube and, link. And the two better than that, like that, bro. Two better than. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zoom will be better than. That's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm pl I'm placing.
Uh, Ojula, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, the video is also fine, right, sir? Yeah, it's fine, sir. Okay. Um, idhar nika da, sir. Digital one, get it, bro. Yeah. Ten thirty, kundi nika da. Okay, sir. Isse pe petna student, sir. What's up? Madam, Ujula, Madam. Chapa ni sir. And under the mute level, da ma. Ah, mute. The host or idhi ichanga sir, kuncha mute button sir. Kuncha kuncha calls sir. Ah, ah, sir name choose sir, Madam. Good morning, Krishna Chaitanya sir. Morning, morning, Ujula. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good, sir. How are you? I know it can get very stressing. Yeah, you are already small. Yeah. Madam, need not to feel any stress, Madam. I told you already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we are all with you, madam. No, uh, can grandly success your webinar today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just check. Let me share my screen also, just to see if it is working fine. Mm. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Visible. Cool. And in case there is any bandwidth issues or in case things get slowed down, I'll just turn off the video because I'll anyway show them the presentation and I'll keep switching on between in between. Okay, no problem. Sir, I'm searching for director, sir. Gurunadam, sir. Is there? Murthy, sir. Gurunadam, sir. Name, 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 sir. Let the host. Okay, okay. Ujula, madam. Ujula, madam. Sir, inka ujula. Madam, Ujula, madam. Yes, sir. 
సార్కి ఒకసారి కాల్ చేస్తారా టెన్ థర్టీ అయింది టెన్ థర్టీ వన్ అయింది చేద్దామా చేసానా చేయండి సార్ మ్యూట్లో పెడుతుంది మేడం సార్ హలో ఎస్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్ సీమ్స్ హీ ఈస్ స్పీకింగ్ విత్ సమ్వర్డ్ ఎల్స్ ఓకే సర్ ఓకే సర్ మేబీ హి హిల్ కాల్ బ్యాక్ విల్ వెయిట్ ఫర్ హిమ్ సర్ యా విల్ వెయిట్ మేడం విల్ వెయిట్ మీన్ వైల్ లెట్ దెమ్ జాయిన్ అదర్స్ సో సో ఫర్ వి హావ్ 76 హ్మ్ మేడం కృష్ణ మేడం హలో 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 యా సార్ కృష్ణ చైతన్య సార్ విల్ వెయిట్ ఫర్ అనదర్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ మినిట్స్ లెట్ ఆర్ డైరెక్టర్ సార్ జాయిన్ హలో హలో మేడం ఉజ్జల మేడం గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ మేడం డైరెక్టర్ సార్ క్యాన్ వి స్టార్ట్ ఆర్ వి వెయిట్ ఫర్ ఫ్యూ మోర్ మినిట్స్ we'll start ma 92 plus in youtube some people are watching sir okay. 15 members please proceed start okay sir good morning everyone it's my pleasure to welcome all the faculty students research scholars and industry executives to our webinar on a career path in digital marketing a complete practical approach 
I would like to extend a special welcome to our Director of SWIM, Professor N. Gurnath Naidugaru, and today's speaker, Mr. Krishna Chaitanya. We are excited and glad to have you all here today on this online platform. The capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. I thank wholeheartedly all the participants who preferred this webinar as a choice of their learning today. We are also glad to announce that we received registrations from 15 states of our country and also from five other countries. On this occasion, I feel honored to introduce Sri Vidya Niketan Institute of Management. Sri Vidya Niketan Institute of Management was founded in 2007 by Sri Vidya Niketan Educational Trust, a multi-core non-governmental service organization, which was established by Dr. Manchu Mohan Babu, who has been an actor, film producer, recipient of Padma Shri Award, and former member of Rajya Sabha. Mr. Manchu Vishnu is acting as CEO of these institutions. This institute is set up 14 kilometers away from Tirupati town and is committed to promoting management knowledge and skills among youth aspiring to become managers and the entrepreneurial resources of our nation. The institute keeps in mind that students are not only imported with knowledge, but also emphasizes should be on empathetic attitude, community living, team spirit, discipline, and cultural tolerance. SWIM is all set to transform students as competent professionals with a talent pool of faculty. Coming to the objectives of today's webinar, uh, it helps to know like various career opportunities that will be available in digital marketing field. And it also uh, enlightens like how our skills or passion can be turned into earning. So uh, once again, I will heartfully welcome each and every participant to this online platform. Now I request Professor N. Gurnath Naid Garu to give opening remarks. Please sir, over to you. Thank you, Dr. Ujwala. Good morning to all. As a director, I appreciate Dr. B. Ujwala, coordinator of today's webinar, and Dr. J. Murthy, Srimati Christina Mary Alexander, co coordinators for choosing an appropriate topic, a career path in digital marketing, a complete practical approach. It will definitely enrich all the participants. We are all living in digital world with digital transformation. Digital marketing is the use of internet, mobile devices, social media, search engines, and other channels to reach consumers. Digital marketing areas are SEO, that is search engine of optimization, SMO, search media of optimization, and SEM, search engine marketing, and also social media marketing. With benefits of global reach, with the least cost, connecting with target audience, with personalization. It is faster, easier, and 24 by seven with accessibility. Social media plays a key role in digital marketing with Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Through digital marketing, you can capture, target, engage, and optimize your sales and marketing activities. <laughs> Philip Kotler very well said, marketing is not the art of finding clever ways to dispose of what you make. It is the art of creating genuine customer value. So creating a right content, publishing a content, amplify content and repeat the content is the art of digital marketing. In traditional marketing, advertising is very expensive. Whereas uh, in case of startups, it is very difficult for them to penetrate in the markets. By using digital platform, startups can easily connect with the least cost to many customers. Friends, today, technology is, has been intruded in our day-to-day -day life. Without that, we cannot lead our life. Let me tell you, uh, 
there is no mobility without mobile this is the order of the day and to tell you very honestly uh, there is a saying in sanskrit udara nimittam bahukrutha vesham we need to choose a path to lead our life a choosing a right path at right time is very very important in our life so to choose a right path in digital marketing today we have we are conducting this webinar and i am sure we are going to enrich with a lot of ideas innovative thoughts with the help of a resource person mr krishna chaitanya founder of digital titans ex googler digital marketing trainer and consultant once again i welcome all the participants for today's webinar to enrich their knowledge to establish uh, in very well in their uh, digital marketing activities once again I welcome you all thank you all wishing you all the best thank you sir now it gives me immense pleasure to introduce today's speaker mr krishna chaitanya a founder of digital titans mr krishna chaitanya completed his mba in marketing and hr at deccan school of management hyderabad he started his career as a process trainer at nas partha limited a reliance based industrial unit mumbai he worked as risk management associate in iv comtech company hyderabad also worked as an consultant marketing head at controls data centers limited he even worked at one of the top most companies in the world called google india private limited as account associate currently he is acting as founder for digital titans where he provides training in digital marketing he trained more than 5000 students so far and made them as professional digital marketers with this brief introduction we are pleased to welcome mr krishna chaitanya before moving to session i would like to give one small announcement like i request all the registered participants uh, need to provide feedback without fail at the end of this session now i invite mr krishna chaitanya to take over this session welcome krishna chaitanya and over to you sir thank you thank you so much ajula i hope i'm audible and uh, i will also be sharing my screen in a second uh, for you to go through the presentation and i honestly admire uh, the management and ujwala especially for coordinating this because i know this can be one of the toughest things to do and execute and pull it off uh, i'm sure she has a strong support from the management and she's driven so that's what made this possible and let me also congratulate the whole uh, management team because there are not many institutions who take this kind of initiative i have i have been through some of the worst experiences and the best experiences and i must say this is one of the best things that the management has taken up because more often than not colleges are only bothered about how many placements can we showcase so that i can get more people in 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 form of admissions in the next batch but this seems to be like a very very genuine effort by the management and that is something which actually pushed me to uh, pick a topic which is most uh, talked about and and there is a, there are a lot of confusions around this topic so i thought since i've been in the industry for about 15 years and i think i think this should be a good uh, place for us to start because when 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 students are stepping out into the real world after mba like i did 15 20 years ago so i know the challenges that you face and i know how uh, desperate you can get to choose something that comes your way because there is a lot of pressure in terms of family peers society that push you to take something which comes up rather than take a step back think about what actually matters to you what you're actually interested in thankfully you have digital marketing today which actually provides you that kind of opportunity which was never existed which has never existed before so today we are in a world where you can showcase your content along with content from companies like coca cola samsung apple it doesn't make a difference now what you say has been uh, heard and taken seriously by companies for the first time so if you make a video on youtube about how you did not like a feature in one of the apple products apple will listen to you and if it impacts a lot of people they will pay attention to what you have to say which is attention at scale which has never ever been possible in the past so i think why not use it for our own good so that we can benefit others and possibly make a career out of it and that's all the entire session is going to be so let me share my screen with you guys so that you can actually get a gist of what i'm talking about 
Uh, the traditional definition of a career, uh, and probably this is when I have gone through the dictionary after a long, long, long time. I've, I've never had the necessity to go to a dictionary after school, but I think I've, I've done that yesterday. And this is what a traditional definition of career looks like. An occupation that's undertaken for a significant period of a person's life and with opportunities for progress. For example, he seemed destined for a career as an engineer like his father, right? So the dictionaries are also following the stereotypes about how somebody uh, was an engineer and his son also followed the same path to become an engineer, which possibly is something that we will go ahead and change after today's session. Please understand today's session is not about those quick tips about how I can impress you so that you can come back to me later for anything that I have to sell. The entire goal of this session is to ignite a switch in your mind so that you can adapt to a new mindset after today so that you don't have to look at the old stereotypes and base your career on that. If you look at the definition closely, there is there are two powerful words in this definition which says a career is something which can span across a person's life, right? So there, there has to be a lot of thought and attention that goes into this because you will be doing or pursuing this throughout your life. As I said, the aim is to change that understanding that has been drilled into our minds by society, by parents, by peers, by relatives, where you have to follow a set pattern and how digital marketing is breaking all those barriers and, and making doctors into YouTubers, making actors into uh, founders, making sportsmen into founders in, in tech startups, et cetera. So that's all the whole discussion is going to be. I hope you will understand this and I hope you will learn a thing or two from this so that you can go ahead and start implementing this in your personal careers. Digital marketing is not a career, it's a way of life, it's a life skill. That is something which has to be very, very clearly understood. Now, if you don't believe what I say, you don't have to believe everything that I say, because we are in a world where you can challenge any thought process and we can obviously have constructive criticism after we are done with the session. I will be opening up 15 minutes for Q&A so that I can address some of your questions live so that you exactly know where I'm coming from. And if you still don't believe that digital marketing is not a life changing skill or life, life impacting skill, if you still think it's only a career, you have to think about it again, because what I'm trying to tell you is imagine not having internet access for a day. Imagine no WhatsApp for a day. No, imagine no Facebook. Probably we are all, we will all start going mad because it is something that is deep rooted in us. When my 70 year old grandmother cannot survive without TikTok, now that it's banned, but I'm talking about the day when it was not banned. So when she was extremely addicted to this TikTok app, Things are, there is something about this, right? All these platforms are very carefully designed to get your attention, to make sure they entertain you, educate you, whatever. Now tell me one thing that's not internet-based today. We are talking now based upon internet-based platforms. Imagine internet, imagine the world without internet during a crazy time such as COVID-19 where things would have gotten standstill and a lot of people would have died of hunger. If you talk about floods in Kerala, internet is something that saved and came to the rescue. Talk about floods in Chennai, internet has become a backbone of our society. So basically, this is a world that's driven by internet. And if you can put it to right use, you can not just make a career out of it, but you can live a very, very, very impactful life where you show others a path in their state of confusion, where you take the lead and start passing it on to somebody else. So that's the goal of this session. And that's how absence of digital media feels exactly how you feel when you don't have internet access for a day. Imagine how many times we call up our service provider and say, I need internet access because, because it's very important. It's important for your education, entertainment, information, news, everything, right? Now let's move forward and understand what is digital marketing in one line. Don't worry, I am not going to bore you to death about taking you through the whole elements of digital marketing. This is not going to be an MBA class with all due respect to the MBA professors because without those people, I wouldn't have been where I am today. So with all the due respect to all the books, all the presentations, all the case studies, assignments that you do, digital marketing is just promoting anything using a medium called internet. Possibly if you start looking at it, one of the world's best supercomputers is in your pockets and there is no other computer that's faster, quicker, effective than this. Now, if you start translating into how channels transformed, how so uh, advertising channels or marketing channels transformed, YouTube is your new TV. Podcasting is your new radio. Phone has become a supercomputer where it's one computer where you can take calls, you can post content, you can read content, consume content, 
access profiles, stay in touch with your friends, sell something, buy something. So basically, why not leverage that is, is the essence of this session today. Moving forward, the catch here is this is something that will haunt throughout your life. And this is something that you have to keep in mind as long as you're associated with digital marketing, which is get as creative as possible. Do not have any borders or do not have any limits. Don't limit yourself. There are no limits. There is no limit as to what you can achieve, what you can do, what you can impact or, or how many people's lives you can touch. So just one favor that you can do yourself today is not to have a closed approach and start thinking about these are my walls and I should start playing within these walls. No, break the walls, see everything that you can because anything is scalable and anything is practical with digital marketing. Moving forward, now wait, weren't you supposed to talk to us about our career paths and how digital marketing can change it and why are you talking about what is digital marketing like a typical MBA class? I understand, let's get to it. But before that, let's see what my friend has to say. Now for guys who don't know, I don't think this guy needs an introduction. He's a very good friend of mine. And when I spoke to him about uh, a day or two days ago, when I told him that I'm doing this session where I'm, I'm talking something on the lines of what you have done in your own life. So why don't you give me a one liner so that I can, I can help people connect better? Because when he says something, people would connect to it because he's already done it. He's not something who is sitting there and talking or just talking about it. Now, for guys who don't know, this guy is Harsha, Sri Harsha. And he's very fondly called as Vaiva Harsha, who became an overnight sensation after years of hard work. And he's an engineer by profession, uh, by uh, education from Goa. And he somehow, like most of us who study something and get into something else, he did not feel it. He did not think that he was going to be an engineer or he, that's what he wanted to pursue. So he said, why don't try something else? So he just tried something else and he became an overnight sensation after 10 years of hard work. So he says, it's not about how imperfect you are. It's the way you deal with your imperfections that matter, right? A lot of times people said, my parents used to tell me that you, you just don't study. You always want to go out and play, right? Now that was something, a stereotype or a taboo or a wrong thing to do like 10 years ago. If you were interested in something like that, you can always go ahead and start building content around that passion and people will start taking note of you. You will get famous and that's exactly this guy did. This guy put together a format or a show or a series of three episodes where he replicated what happens in a Viva interview in your BTEC. So it, he just presented it in such a way where you and I can connect because all of us have gone through that. Now with that, I think he was able to attract a lot of attention. Uh, almost almost uh, he started uh, getting about 8 lakh views overnight and things changed from there. Now that, that's how he got into uh, movies and that's, that's how things work for him. So just to rewind what he has to say, it's not about what you are not doing or what you are considered as or what people perceive you to be or whether you are imperfect, whether you don't study, you only play, or whether you don't know music, whether you know music, doesn't matter. Whatever you have, you have something that's unique. So put that out and turn those imperfections into something that the world has ever seen, right? Moving forward, imperfections, according to the society or family, they will always have something to tell you. Your parents will always have something to tell you. This is by no means uh, uh, an authorization that you should fight back when they're telling you something good. It's not that. Listen to everything, process it, and finally do what appeals to you, what you really feel like doing, right? And what will help you achieve that is digital marketing. Expectations, guys, everybody has expectations out of you. When I am at a traffic signal, the guy next to me is also expecting something from me. So he's expecting me to not to go overtake him. So expectations are everywhere. So stop paying attention to these expectations and start looking at who you are inside and what appeals to you, what matters to you more than anything else, and layer that with digital marketing and start working wonders. That's exactly what is the need of the hour. And that is exactly what is supposed to be done today. If you really want to have a happy life, I'm not talking about a rich life, because if you're happy, if you do what you like, if you do it consistently, your money is, is going to follow. One big advice that I can give all of you, because I have, I'm, I've been in the same situation that you are 15 years ago. I'm telling you, do not chase money. Don't look at your counterparts and say that, okay, he's getting about 10 lakhs. I'm only getting about eight lakhs per annum. Guys, doesn't matter at the end of the day. For all you know, he's extremely unhappy. And maybe he's expecting that he wants something that you already have. That would make him happy. He has the money, but he's not happy. So there is no point in comparing your story to somebody else's. Because if 
it has to be compared god would have created you the same which he did not so there is no point in comparing and losing your sleep over it right time to talk about some passions now i am going to keep this session as i said very informative in terms of what are some of the practical ways you can leverage this information and what can you start doing today as as soon as the session is done these are some practical examples that you can start doing today after the session is done and that will set you up for a life also let me be very clear this is not something you do today and results will come in from tomorrow if you are really people say you you have to choose something that you are passionate about because it will keep you going and it will you will not get tired quickly you will not give up things if you don't see results in one week right if i have to get a six pack and if i really want to get married to someone and if she says that you i will only get married to you if you have a six pack that's enough motivation for me to go ahead that's my passion that becomes my passion right so please follow your passions not on the money and understand this is not something that you can happen overnight do not compare yourself to others in this whole process now what are some of the ways that you can actually use digital marketing to make a career out of your passion and in the most practical way right now digital marketing for career this is applicable to any passion when i say any passion i'm i'm talking about weird passions as well for example there is a guy who likes to talk about different kinds of insects found in a in a in a forest there are there are shows on netflix and tv where people track about the movements of birds where does one bird go from this place to that place there are some people who are working on their passions and this is applicable to any passion if your passion is something to talk about climate change you can start talking about it if your passion is to talk about how you can get the maximum out of books by reading as little as possible that becomes your passion so anything that you can think of can be made into a career can be made uh, can be used to make money online thanks to digital marketing all right so ways to leverage digital marketing the first things first that i would say is digital marketing 101 where the first thing that you can easily do as of today is youtube create a youtube channel about anything that you can possibly imagine guys there are 95 year old women and men who have taken up youtube channels cooking right they don't know they have no education they have no big qualifications all they know is how to cook so they have made it into a youtube channel and they are they have actually making millions of rupees i'm not just talking about indian youtubers i'm talking about youtubers across the globe there is somebody who likes drinking for example this is a bad example i know but i'm just telling you this the scope of how things can can go ahead now there is somebody in brazil who actually loves to drink so what he did was he set up a channel where he starts reviewing beers and the different kinds of alcohol sold in brazil right as i said it's not the right example maybe but it can be as weird as you can imagine there is somebody who has started a youtube channel about cleaning oceans about how you can clean beaches and beach cleaning and and taking care of garbage and things like that so please pay attention to what is something that you are interested in you will not get the answer easily i i i must tell you this you will not get the answer easily so look deep inside what do you spend most of the time doing what are the kind of youtube channels that you watch frequently because that is telling you something about you if you are constantly looking at things which are related to cooking that means you have a tendency to get inclined towards cooking so why don't you start a youtube channel where you cook stuff always remember that don't let the number of channels already there bother you for example if there are 10 channels who are talking about how to cook and if they already have 3 million subscribers and if you are starting today don't worry because maybe you will start making better videos than them maybe you have a you're charming maybe they're just doing it for money and you're doing it for passion because you really like cooking and that will always make a difference right so there is no point in comparing i'll give you a small example there is a youtube channel which launched 3 months ago it was launched by somebody who in in his mid 50s he grew up without a father his father passed away when he was young so he started a youtube channel and he started talking about how it is to grow up as a single kid and how he takes care of everything by himself he made about 7 videos and in about 7 days or in less than 7 days he got about 1.5 million subscribers on youtube right so how did this happen it's not that he created 1000 videos in 7 days he just posted 7 videos guys i'm not joking 7 videos so 7 videos got him 1.4 million subscribers what happened in interestingly was after he started posting his first or second video somebody from bbc picked up this video and they started writing an article about it and from there it went viral and in 7 days or sorry in, in a couple of months 
he got a lot of views and now he's at about 2 million subscribers if i'm not mistaken so that's the power if you leverage something that you already have or something that you're already interested in so youtube channel the most practical approach so i would i would strongly recommend you to go ahead and start a youtube channel today about anything in the world if you don't see what's happening if you don't like the process give up and start something else as long as you find that you find something that you like if you like something if you find that you know this is what i'm doing this is what i like and if that starts giving you that kind of satisfaction then don't give up you will actually see wonders the next thing to do is teach what you already know for example most of us have skills that others don't have and these are the skills that are not taught in schools for example if i know how to print t-shirts right uh, and i'm I, i really have some fancy designs in mind so i start doing this and i can start this, teaching this skill to people there are a lot of platforms that you can set up training courses for free you don't have to pay anything you can start selling courses once you get start start getting money then you can build your setup and things like that one thing to note is please do not go to your parents and ask them money for huge cameras heavy lighting setup a huge studio setup it's not needed as i said this is the this is a super computer which can serve as the possibly the highest dslr camera ever and i started my youtube channel i don't have many subscribers agreed but i have about 500 odd subscribers but i will get there one day i i remember i told you don't compare yourself with anybody so i still remember i started a youtube channel with a camera that i borrowed from one of my friends so i did it for a month just to see if i'm liking the process then i realized i like the process then i started selling something else or doing something else then i made some money that's when i went ahead and got a camera for myself so don't invest think about investing uh, i know buying a camera sounds cool buying some mic sounds cool my buying a setup making a setup sounds cool but that's not the intention start doing it with your camera that you already have if it's a, even if it's a smartphone see how results come up and then you can start taking it up from there you can start uh, people knitting you can start talking about uh, different languages that you know uh, you will be surprised about how much money people can make just by teaching another language if i am born in spain spanish is my natural language right it's my mother tongue i mean i i naturally pick it up because i'm spanish now do you know how many people in the other parts of the world that pay millions of rupees just to learn the language right when i say million rupees i mean collectively like like if you train 1000 people it's possible you take a, you get a million rupees not just that there are businesses that sell you repeatedly they can sell you courses repeatedly right uh, so there are a lot of ways that you can actually make money with any skill that you can think about for example uh, if you start talking about uh, other countries uh, as i said that's the best part there is no geographical limit you can sell this to anybody you can start teaching how to uh, cook indian food to people in canada because there are a lot of there is a lot of indian influence in canada so when you do that you can start teaching people how to cook food uh, indian food in canada and then you can start making a youtube channel and then you can start building up from there right moving forward affiliate marketing one of the most popular uh, ways to make money online is affiliate marketing if you don't know what affiliate marketing is all of us buy products from amazon right there is there is i can bet my life on this there is not even a single person here who has never bought anything from amazon all of us have bought something from amazon now how about you did your own research before buying right you thought let's say if i i was buying this mouse and i did my own research about what mouse to buy because there are hundreds of mouses available online so what i did was i went to google.com and i said best mouses uh, best computer mouse under let's say 1000 rupees in india so i got a series of links so i clicked on any of those links and i found somebody who wrote an article about this and he says okay this is the best mouse if you want to buy it from amazon click here so i clicked on that link i went to amazon i bought this mouse guess what there is no difference for me i don't get any discount this was 600 rupees sorry 1000 rupees on amazon it's 1000 rupees even if i go buy from his site but if i went ahead if i went through his site amazon pays him 10% back on the mouse right which means 6000 rupees so 10% is let's say how much is 10% 100 rupees so he gets 100 rupees to his bank account now that's affiliate marketing you promote others products and you get a commission on that once the sale is done you will not believe it half of rich digital marketers in the world are affiliate marketers agreed it needs a lot of practice agreed it needs a lot of skill that you need to learn we will which i will cover in the next few slides but trust me if you if that's your goal if you if you like this this chaos confusion you like researching products you like what are the best things to buy on amazon let's say if there are 10 days if there was a prime day recently on amazon where you got great discounts i think 6th and 7th of august 
So from 1st of August, if you collected all these details and if you built the hype around your YouTube channel saying that I will tell you what products you have to buy from Amazon during 7th and 8th, 6th and 7th, because there is a huge discount. So people will flock your YouTube channel. So you, you include links to the products. If they click on that link, follow from YouTube to Amazon to buy the product, you get a commission on that. Not just products, uh, digital products. You can be an affiliate to courses. You can be an affiliate to software programs. The world is, is your, your playground, guys. You can start playing and making so much of money. And, and the best part of our, uh, about affiliate marketing is this is something which can be done in just about investing four hours a day. You don't need to invest eight hours a day. If you're somebody who wants to have a job and then do it on the site, best thing for you. If you want somebody who, if you're somebody who has just started out, I don't have to immediately go out and work. Let me take one year and figure out this stuff. You can sit at home, start building a blog around this and start doing it. It'll work wonders. Moving forward, learn digital marketing and consult with clients. If you are a people's person, if you like talking to people, if you like, if you're, if you like sales and if, you, if, you're, if you're somebody who's, who's like me, who can, who can keep talking, then I think this is the best thing for you where you can start meeting clients, consult them, approach them, learn digital marketing, of course. If you don't have the skill, hire somebody who can help you with the skill, then get the clients and get work done for them and charge them monthly. So this is one of the famous uh, models where people leverage digital marketing upon. All right, so learn a skill and start a blog. Learning a skill, we have already done, discussed that part, right? If you, if you want to, uh, let's say, learn salsa, learn salsa, start a blog, document your experiences. You don't have to be an inventor. Don't go out and start inventing new things because everything has been invented before. So there's nothing new that you and I are going to do today. So what you can do is maybe you can document your journey. So day one to day, uh, let's say 200 in salsa practice. So you can document these 200 days in a YouTube channel or in a blog. So that becomes your journey and that becomes your content. You will be surprised that people, if, if your blog or YouTube channel has a lot of readers and viewers, blogs and other companies will approach you and tell you that, can you sponsor our brand? Can you talk about our brand, right? So which is more of an influencer marketing, which we will talk about, but it is possible. Learn a skill, start a blog around it or a YouTube channel and keep consistent, keep doing it every day. Review products, start a YouTube channel. I bought this mouse from Amazon for thousand rupees. It is not worth thousand rupees because after three months they stopped working. If you are looking at better alternatives, please look at the description below. I have better models include affiliate links, that works wonders. You can talk about reviewing kids' products because parents are very finicky. I'm a parent of two kids, so I understand the pain because I want to test something out. I want to get solid feedback before I get something for my kids or feed them something. So these channels really have a great importance. If you're talking about buying computers, because computers is, is I wouldn't say like a huge investment like a house, but at least it's a, it's a decent investment where you will have to shell down at least 50,000 rupees and if I'm spending 50,000 rupees, I would want to review, right? So there are a lot of reviews, uh, reviewers who review phones, review uh, cameras, review computers, review baby products, review everything, guys, review everything. And if you are looking for some inspiration for reviewing products, you can look at a YouTube channel called Geeky Ranjit, and he's from Hyderabad, and he does amazing stuff. He probably has been one of the early adapters, so that's how you will see a huge following. But if you are really interested, if that's your calling, I would strongly suggest you to do this. Get a product, review it. If you want, you can use it, or if you can sell it later, you can sell it. It's as simple as that. Become an influencer. You sing really well. Start an Instagram page, start a YouTube channel, start singing, right? Document these things. And as soon as your followers begin to increase, you will, beauty is about, when I was uh, uh, doing my MBA, when I finished my MBA, I had to walk at least to 20 offices looking for an internship for my summer project. Now, Everything is done online. There are platforms for everything. If I can start showcasing my skill on YouTube, there are a lot of people who will approach me and say that, in fact, they will pay me money in return. And they say, please review my product. For example, if you're talking about uh, deodorants, everybody understands deodorants is, is a big business market. And 10 years ago, 15 years ago, probably around 2006, uh, Axe was, was the leading brand, right? Now, Axe was a leading brand and everybody was going mad about Axe. And the noise that they made, like the fizz or the gas, that, as, as we Indians call it, uh, that was very attractive and that was the hook point for all these things. Many years down the line, there is some brand which came as fog, which said there is no air in this, it will last longer. That was a direct hook. And to promote that product, they needed a lot of influencers who were talking about 
makeup, who were talking about uh, perfumes, who were talking about cosmetics. So they gave these products to these guys and asked them to promote their product after using that. So that's how you become an influencer. If you're somebody who likes bikes, go test ride and start making vlogs about it. People or companies will approach you saying that to review their new bike feature, new bike model, etc. Then teach a skill that you already know. We have spoken about this. Uh, build products. If you're somebody who uh, likes building softwares or if you have some amount of coding, so you would want to come up with something else by building, making it into a software or making it into an app, please feel free to do that. If you are somebody who has who is really uh, uh, fond of history, you really want to know what happened in 1857 to let's say 1900s. So what you do is you research, you make a book, start selling a book. That is also a product. Software, book, uh, like a kit that you can sell people, uh, safety kit, anything. You build a product and you can start selling it, whether it's a physical product or a digital product. Moving forward, drop shipping. This is one of my favorites. And I think I've seen a lot of success with this kind of business where, see, if you really like uh, e-commerce where you can buy, sell, if, you, if Amazon inspires you, if you want to look at something where you want to do that too, but you want to do it for, let's say, clothes, you want to try uh, importing products and selling them because in India, there is a demand for certain things. In other countries, there is a demand for Indian products. So you can look at a trade-off and then you can start looking at, okay, fine. Cosmetics, for example, Koreans are the best. Korean cosmetics are the leading in the industry. Uh, so you think that there's a good market for this. Why don't I start importing cosmetics from Korea and then start selling them in India? But guess what? You'll have to get an import export license. There's a separate license for cosmetics. And then you have to buy inventory. Cosmetics are very expensive. They're not cheap anymore. Now you have, when you work the numbers out, you realize that there is about 50 lakh investment that's needed. Now, I'm sure some of you can do that, but an average Indian student wouldn't be very comfortable to spend 50 lakhs, buy stock, and to do what? If it doesn't sell, what are you going to do with all that, right? So there is a model called drop shipping where you don't buy any inventory, you don't buy any licenses. You just start a website, you start putting these products. You don't have any products. You just start putting up these products, run ads, sell these products, or sell the ads. When the ads run, if somebody has interested and he placed an order, then you place the order to the manufacturer and you will send that directly to the customer. So you don't pay for courier, you don't pay for inventory, and but you make a commission. You tell the customer, your customer, 50 rupees, but you actually buy it from 20 rupees and ask them, don't tell, tell him the price, it's a drop shipping product, sell it directly with a $50 invoice or 50 rupee invoice. Millions again, but needs a lot of hard work, needs a lot of, but if you like this thing, if that, that makes you curious, if you, if you get an energy rush when you look at a site like Amazon, I think this business is for you. No risk, no investment needed. You don't have to uh, buy inventory, no warehouses needed, no offices needed. Just ship products from the manufacturer to the customer directly. You play the middleman by just creating a website. So what do you need for that? You need a lot of skill, which is a digital marketing skill. Right, then YouTuber and short movies, a lot of people who made short movies have become have gone to the mainstream cinema now. A lot of people who are in mainstream cinema have come back to YouTube. For example, Will Smith, right? He, he was one of the highest paid actors of all time. If you look at it, he's on YouTube now. He doesn't make many movies, but he's every day on YouTube. Thanmai Bhatt, who is uh, the founder of AIB, the, the comedy group that he founded, he's on YouTube. Uh, Suma, the, the very famous anchor that all of us know, uh, host, TV host that we know, is on, is on YouTube. So there's no limit, guys. People can switch careers from YouTube to movies, movies to YouTube. So pick your thing and start doing it. And I think that should be, you should know what you already have in mind. I think if this appeals to you, go for it. Netflix shows and documentaries. Everybody pays monthly subscription. Guys, I don't want to watch a show on Netflix for three hours and realize it's a bad show. Or maybe I didn't like it, right? If somebody tells me, okay, if this is what you're looking at, maybe you will like this show. If this is what you're looking at, if you don't like love and romance and love stories, maybe you will not like this show. If you like action, maybe you like this show. I want somebody to help me do that. And so that he can see, he saves me three hours of my precious time. Maybe I would have played with my kids without watching it, right? So if, if that's the case, you can start a Netflix uh, show reviewing channel where you watch episodes, you review them. There are already people doing that. It gets hooked, people get hooked on easily because everybody's on Netflix these days. 
All right. Become a podcaster. As I said, podcaster is a, a, a radio, is, is like the radio of 2020. Podcast is nothing but it's the same thing, but without the video. You only can hear me on audio and you can listen to it while you're working out. You can listen to it while you're driving, cooking, sleeping, doing whatever, right? Now, podcast is gradually gaining a lot of importance and people pay you for podcasting as well. Now, if you have your podcast has a lot of uh, following in, in online, then probably companies will say, please sponsor this. Headphones or earphones is one of the best brands uh, to promote on a podcast because everybody who's listening to a podcast is already having earphones or they, they're looking for new ones. So if a company like JBL, for example, or Samsung earphones, if they start approaching you for your podcast to advertise this product, it's a big deal. All right, so freelancing, uh, any skill. So you have a skill, you can start uh, freelancing. For example, uh, you can go ahead and start talking about how you can help them write better content. Now, freelancing can be uh, content. Uh, let's say somebody is very bad at art. Somebody is very bad at cooking, for example. You can tell them, you will. I'll send you cooking tips each day, right? You register, impress your husband or wife or your kids, I'll send you the tips every day. I'll send you the recipes every day. You pay me this much. It can be as weird as that, right? I'll, I'll tell you an example. There is a there is a female, I think in China. I know it's a very wrong time to talk about China, but uh, I, I'm not talking about the country as such. I'm talking about somebody in that uh, location. So there's a there's a person in China. All she does is she shows you how she gets up in the morning, how she gets ready, how she goes to work, what is the train that she takes. She goes to the office. She opens her laptop. She switches on her computer and, and then she just goes to the pantry or the cafeteria. She brings things and she starts cooking at her desk and she has millions of following, right? It's weird. I could never understand why somebody would do that, but she's doing it and she's proved that it works, right? So your freelancing skill, your ideas can be as weird as they can get. There is possibly a freelancing gig for everything. There are, there are freelancers who give you voiceover. There are, for example, if my communication is bad, I can't speak proper English. I can hire somebody who is a freelancer to give me a voiceover or to write something for me. You can write blog writers, you can hire content writers, you can hire video makers, you can hire digital marketers. If you know digital marketing, you can be a freelancer. Uh, they can hire people who make games. Gamers is, is one of the biggest industries today, right? So there are a lot of things that you can do with freelancing. Buy and sell. This is my favorite. Uh, all of us know OLX and Quicker. So OLX and Quicker also, also talk about how we can buy and sell used products. Right? I bought something, I'm not using it, I want to sell it off. Uh, it's an app, moreover. What you can possibly do is without investing in an app initially, use your WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and other platforms and collect things which, are, which people like. For example, when Iron Man came out, everybody wanted those Iron Man figurines. Everybody wanted to keep that. Because superheroes is something that we can't become a superhero, but we feel that we are a superhero when you look at the figurines. Batman, He-Man, uh, Superman, all those things. So you can buy such rare collectible items on eBay and other, other uh, products. Showcase it either on your website or on your Instagram and sell it off, right? Guys, I, I can give you so many examples for this. There was an 11-year-old kid in the US. Uh, he is called as a sneaker kid. If you go to uh, YouTube and look for sneaker kid, you will, you will look at his video. So what this guy did was he started buying sneakers at, at 11 years old or 10 years old, I'm not sure. So he started buying sneakers. He buys something for $200 and it's a rare piece. It's not some, something like when you go to Bata and buy a shoe. It's like he, he goes to Nike, limited edition shoes, he bo buy, buys those. Then he goes to another uh, meeting or a fair and he sells them for $400. So with the 400, he buys another expensive rare shoe. He buys it for, let's say he sells it for $800,000. Doing this, he made millions of rupees at 15 years old. He's still doing it, by the way. And his clients are all the rap singers, hip hop singers, models, uh, fashion models, uh, Will Smith, uh, Eminem. So these are all his, his clients. He's 16 years old and he makes millions of rupees, right? So buying and selling is, if, if, that's, your, if that's something that interests you, I think you should totally go for it and consider doing this. Review Netflix shows and books. I think books is also an interesting way that you can uh, think to uh, go ahead and review. Uh, I think that would give you a lot of context as to what else can you do using Netflix. Sell art and sell t-shirts. To print a t-shirt, uh, it actually takes 
less than 100 rupees, you can sell the t-shirt for about 500 rupees. If you start looking at brands like bevakoof.com, if you start looking at a lot of brands, I, I'm, I'm just not getting the name right now, but uh, you buy a lot of plain t-shirts, you hire a designer, you get the designs done, you print the t-shirts, you sell them, you ship them out. A huge business today, right? Because we like uh, wearing t-shirts which are quirky, which are fun, uh, which resonate with that. And I can customize my messages. I tried doing this for a while. I'll give you my practical example. Though I didn't find time to invest on, on this every day, but I'll tell you what I did. I bought something called as a heat press machine, which is a machine where you, you plug it in, it gets heated, you put in a t-shirt, you put in your design, you just press it because of the heat, the image gets transferred onto the t-shirt, right? I thought, okay, I'll come up with some interesting designs. I have to think about designs. I need to hire a designer. When I'm doing all this, my wife started posting these things on Facebook, right? Uh, so that's, that's very, very weird because I didn't know that was happening. And guess what? I didn't have to think about designs because very, very soon people started giving me designs. They said, I want this message on the t-shirts. It's a, we are a family of three. So it's, it's the father, mother, and the kid, right? So then we went ahead and scouted for these white plain t-shirts where I can print these messages. So I had stock of those. So my wife used to get those custom orders and, and then it's as simple as that guys. And the margins were insane. They were about 40 to 50% per, per order. And imagine you doing that when you have a lot of time on hand. I know I'm, I'm getting, growing old. I'm a, I'm a father and I can't maybe possibly take a year break and experiment with these things. But possibly you can do it because you have you still have time and you're young. This is the biggest advantage that you guys have. Leverage on the time. Don't worry about anything else. Go all in if you believe in something. All right, become a gamer. Uh, some inspiration, some uh, information if you really want. There are two guys which I really want to talk about. Half of you guys will already know about them. There's a guy called PewDiePie and there is another channel called Carrie Minati. These are two gamers, one from India, one from the US. Uh, PewDiePie has about 107 million followers. He's the highest YouTuber uh, with, with, I mean, YouTuber with the highest subscriber base in the world. And he makes about $20 million a month only through sponsorships and YouTube money. So he's a gamer. He started off with that. There are certain industries, whether you like it or not, whether, whether you hate it, there are some industries which actually get you a lot of followers. For example, entertainment, then you have gaming, then you have bikers, right? Guys, what skill does, does uh, a biker need apart from being a good biker, right? You don't have to look into the camera and you don't have high, you don't need high definition cameras. You don't have to entertain people. You don't have to crack jokes. All you have to do is record your drives and make it interesting. That's all you need to do. So if you are somebody who has that skill, get your bike, get a camera or your phone, go out and start recording those episodes and, and put, put them up. Especially if you're doing those short trips within country, within your state, within your city during COVID, I think it's a big opportunity for you to get those initial subscribers. All right, now this is all fine. I, I've told you uh, a lot of information as to how you can use this. But how can I leverage? If I have to summarize all these things, if you think, please listen to the statement very clearly. All your life, if you felt that you are not good at something or if you have certain disadvantage, please make sure you've turned that disadvantage into an advantage, right? If, if you are somebody who always hangs out with friends and you never studied, for example, and if people told you that it was your disadvantage, you are very bad in studies, Look at that something that you always do. For example, if you're meeting friends frequently, make a channel around how friendships are and what things happen friends with, between friends each day. Make it entertaining, make it into a show. Guys, now you and I have the power to make a show that people across the world can watch with no hired directors, with no producers, with nothing. All you need is just a camera, right? And your phone is also helpful with that. Now. If you have a thought in mind, put it into a form of series or, or episodes, it becomes a show, make it entertaining. And how do you know if it is good or not? People will tell you. People will tell you if they're liking your episodes or not. Follow the comments, look at what people are searching for, make more content. Content is the game. You churn more content, doesn't matter. If I have three videos which are extremely high definition shot with a movie camera, if you have hundred videos, well, with a little bad video quality, but it's entertaining, that will be more important than these quality high definition videos which have bad content.
right? So keep these things in mind. I think it's a big, big, big advantage if you put these things around. Now, agreed. You told me how do we do? Why do we do this? Or what do we do? Now tell me how do I do this? How do I do this? I've already recently made a video of this on my YouTube channel. Recently, guys, a lot of you, a lot of people will tell you, I can't get a job without an experience. I can't get experience without a job. It's a deadlock situation, right? Now, there are a lot of famous scenes in movies, especially in Telugu movies, where people will tell you, everybody wants experience and nobody is willing to give me a job. If nobody gives me a job, how can I get experience, right? Now, that is so untrue in today's world, especially with digital marketing. Especially if you are somebody who has a, a skill, any skill, you don't need any experience, guys. You just start doing it. So these are the three steps which will actually help you do it. First, you have to act like a digital marketer, even if you don't, uh, if you don't have a digital marketing job. Remember, I told you digital marketing is not a career skill; it's also a life skill, right? Like swimming. Swimming is a life skill. Now, if you start looking at your life, just audit your life. You're already a digital marketer. Are you using WhatsApp? You're using Facebook. You're using Instagram. You're consuming content on YouTube. You're already a digital marketer. All you need to do is you are on the receiving end until today. From today, you start being the provider. Start providing content, right? If you are too camera shy, if you don't want to come onto the camera, use a podcast, right? If you are if you can't speak properly, choose your regional language, right? Choose a voiceover. You can do anything. Nothing is a disadvantage here. So act like you already are a digital marketer. Second is pick up a passion. You can be passionate about pizzas. You can be passionate about biryani. You can be passionate about uh, let's say movies. You can be passionate about the nature. You can be passionate about electricity. Anything. Pick a passion. Start making content. Third, as I said, keep making content. Keep churning content. Create either a blog or a YouTube channel because that content is is what will drive you to keep continuing, and that will that is your history. So I would say. Leave a digital marketing version of yourself or a digital version of yourself online for people to see. I do it because for a specific reason, right? Tomorrow, when my time is over and when I'm gone, I want my kids to look at it and say that okay, this was my father's life day in day out, right? So have document your life. Have have a. This is exactly like how all of us are. Our fathers used to write diaries every day. This is just like that, but it's a video format. If you don't want to show a video, make it private. If you want, if you're comfortable showing it, show it. But please document your journey on any of the digital marketing platforms. Tips: This helped me save, overcome a lot of frustration. I suffered a lot in between when I had. Everybody has those phases, right? You you start comparing. It's easy to say not to compare, but it comes naturally to you. So don't compare yourself to others. If you believe in something, stick to it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I like traveling. My wife was was harassing my life in a good way. so but but she's like why travel of all the things but i really like it i i found that it was it was my passion it was my calling so i was i was taking trips every 3 months i was i was off right so thanks to her for taking care of the kids and the family but but that was my passion if i start documenting these things in terms of a blog or in terms of videos that becomes a youtube channel a travel youtube channel which can help me become a travel influencer which can help me become a travel affiliate marketer at some point in time i believe in it so i will not listen to anybody who says otherwise if you believe in something if you have something that you strongly believe in go for it don't let anybody change your mind then i have my video has about 20 views now the other friend of mine who made similar content has 2 million views his face and his expressions were bad my expressions were good my camera was good his camera was bad my content was good his content was bad but how did he get 2 million views doesn't matter likes views and comments doesn't matter you will find your success one day or the other when you find your success people will start watching your videos backwards and and all the followers that you missed out on today you will get them back so all you have to remember is how authentic is your content how relevant is your content how much of your soul did you put into this content that's all that matters right all right as i said document your journey leave a digital version of yourself for the world to see because at the end of the day that's all you have to showcase to the world Let's not forget it's not a career skill it's a life changing skill invest time to learn which means you have to keep investing guys i'll tell you what as long as i worked with google between 2006 to 2011 that's when i quit google and started training people and handling clients uh, when i started uh, coming out of google i thought i knew everything that everybody has that mindset where i came from google i know everything but i started learning things actually after i came out of google it's it's a very funny fact but that's how it happens 
So similarly, you guys will also learn a lot of things that you didn't learn in college, right? That's the real learning. So please be ready for that. And also understand if you stop learning, you're, you're going to be dead soon. It's your, your, your career will take a slump. The biggest or the huge amount of learning that I have had about digital marketing was in the last few years, right? So you keep learning. If you stop learning, that's a full stop for you. Don't get into that zone. So invest time to learn every day. So these are some of the famous YouTubers. Uh, you will realize some of them. You will, sorry, you will recognize some of them. You may not recognize some of them, but these are most of them. Let me show, this is PewDiePie that I was talking about. He's the world's highest subscribers uh, on, on YouTube. Uh, this is Logan Paul. He's also pretty famous. This is Dude Perfect. You should check the, I will link to these channels when I send you this presentation across. Uh, probably Ujula can share this with, with you guys. Then let's look at something else. Now these are the earnings in terms of how much do these guys earn? These are all the YouTube channels and these are all the earnings, yearly earnings on YouTube alone. So imagine money is, is there. You just have to go get it. So what are you waiting for, right? Not having a camera, not having lighting, not having enough time, your parents not uh, allowing you to do what you want to do. These are all excuses guys. So your placement officer is not helping you. Doesn't matter. When your placement officers find something good for you, they will help you. In the meantime, why don't you make the most of your time? I'll tell you what happens. If you keep doing these things, if you have a blog, if you have writing, uh, documented your, a blog, if you have a YouTube channel, guess what? Any digital marketing company will, will take you because all they ask you is what have you done? You tell them when I was free the last six months, I have done this. I've built a YouTube channel for me. If you are able to build a YouTube channel for yourself with your blog, they are very confident that you can do it for them too, for their business too. So that's a skill. That's a, that's a, proof that you can achieve things. So invest time in that. Some more, these are Indian specific. Uh, this is Kari Minati, right? This is Vivek Bindra. I'm sure all of you know this. This is Bhuvan Bam. This is Technical Guruji or Gaurav, right? He reviews a lot of tech gadgets online. I am not able to recognize some of them. Uh, I don't know them by name. This is Sandeep Maheshwari, right? This is Geeky Ranjit, the tech reviewer that I told you. You should check out these channels, guys. I'll, I'll link you with the names. Uh, after I send you this presentation. All right, so what else? What's next? Never stop learning, right? Now, I really love talking to you guys and I really hope that this has gotten you something, at least a shift in mindset. If not anything, I'm more than happy. If 20 people out of these 100, 200 odd people who are on this live stream go back thinking that, okay, this fellow said something that actually made sense, so let's at least think about it. If not today, let's talk about creating a YouTube channel tomorrow or a blog tomorrow or a Twitter account tomorrow or an Instagram profile, start doing it. I'll be more than happy if at least 20 people take an action. All right, so you want to keep in touch. There is an email, Heidi, that's my YouTube channel. Please go ahead and if you go there, subscribe. It'll help you to receive notifications when I have new videos put up. Now, when you visit this website, there's a catch here. So what I've done, I think I possibly, I, I don't think I've even sp spoken to Ujula about this, but I think this, this is something which will help all of you. So what I have done is I have uh, launched a basic digital marketing course about Google ads for free. I am not going to charge anything for this. A lot of people, I tell you why I did that. A lot of people think that, okay, if I start going ahead and learning digital marketing, Google ads is something which is very confusing. So let me stop there and then never take that journey or the decision after that. So I wanted to clear that gate and I wanted to remove that hurdle by letting you in for free, right? So come in for free, learn the basics of Google ads where you will be able to run your own campaigns. That is the guarantee that I give you. After going through the basics, the free version of the basics course, you will be able to handle campaigns for yourself or if you have any clients. Get that information. There is a free Google ads stream section. You can click on that and register for free. Once you have done that, you will start getting access to those sessions. Now these sessions are updated every day, right? Uh, almost every day, depending upon my schedule. But this gives you enough context as to lesson number one, to, to stay in course and to understand what's happening. Not just that, since you guys are new to digital marketing, I'm assuming not many of you have prior experience. This will give you uh, the basic required information like a foundation when you step out of your college before you even step out of your college. So I think it's a good uh, good step to take. And on my YouTube channel, I have about 190 videos, which are uh, accessible by people who are already in the industry, people who are freshers, people 
how do you start a digital marketing career so please go there and check the content i was just kidding about subscription you don't have to subscribe to my channel if you don't like the content and anything else please feel free to send me an email uh, and i'll be more than happy to help you guys thank you so much for being patient and listening to me guys and i think i'm uh, i'm opening it up for q and a where i would take any questions that you guys have thank you krishna chaitanya sir pleasure for your uh, valuable inputs so as we all know that this covid 19 made so many people as jobless homeless hopeless and yeah. even lifeless yes right yes. so hope these inputs are really uh, helpful for all the participants who can helpful. make their life more interesting yes and uh, even they can have some uh, hopes like they can build their better uh, future career with Very the help true. of this marketing very true so once again i thank you so much for spending your valuable time here uh, to share all the important information regarding to this digital marketing to our participants pleasure pleasure is mine thank you kc yeah. and uh, i request uh, the participants uh, as we are running this webinar on two platforms like zoom and youtube the youtube view viewers can post your questions in chat box and the zoom participants whoever uh, need to clarify some doubts or uh, need to get some answers uh, from the resource person you can give your reaction like uh, either uh, raising hand or thumbs up uh, kind of uh, sign here so so that i can uh, unmute you and you can directly interact with the resource person now it was krishna krishna ma'am if any questions you have been found in youtube please so far, share with us uh, so far there are no questions from the audience i even gave a message to them so but i minute, if you have any questions means you can ask okay i have one question so, sir uh, uh, i think there are two participants who raised their hands on zoom let us give chance to them first yeah chetan i think it is Seems Chaitanya Rajesh. Why not give them the chance, ma'am? Uh, dear sir, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Rajesh. Hi, Rajesh. Uh, your daily session is very well done, sir. You said all the things in digital marketing. One question is: How long it will take for uh, any person? How much time one has to invest? in learning the digital marketing and little bit not entire masterizes it will take a much period of time Correct. but in the short duration how how much it's required how much time it's required right uh, so that's a, that's a good question in fact that's a that's a most practical question uh, that that you have to address so i don't think you can see uh, me on the camera right or i think it's frozen so let me switch to thank you all right so to to explain that question uh, it's a very simple uh, answer rajesh so for anybody who has to learn uh, the basics of digital marketing at least to get started right you just need to invest about in my experience i have trained people who have absolutely no digital marketing experience like all they know is just to go to google.com that's all they know right so from there to be able to clear an interview it would take anywhere between 30 to 45 days thank you so much sir right but Thanks. but there is also a catch the catch is if you are able to invest more than 4 hours a day that can that can come down to even let's say 25 to 30 days also but you have to constantly keep learning you can never give up on this that's the only catch that you have to remember Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Well said, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Hello, sir. There is a question from YouTube. Yeah. Uh, from uh, from Mr. Kolidhi. Uh, the question is: Is there any channel open up for drop shipping? Uh, could you could you repeat that? As in, is there any channel? Is there any channel 
open up for drop shipping so you mean like a youtube channel uh, probably he wanted to know how uh, where he can display his uh, items or maybe okay, whatever okay. he is selling right 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 so that's a that's a complete uh, e-commerce uh, part of it where you can start promotions on your instagram and youtube organically you don't have to spend money on ads necessarily but if you're looking at a, reaching out to a wider audience it makes sense to invest money and time on ads so you can advertise your products either on facebook instagram linkedin youtube pinterest for example and then uh, and one of the biggest strategies that people do in real time world is they invest a lot of time and try to build an email list when they build a when email list they are not dependent on facebook and google for few the future transactions now this email list is my own audience i can do anything i want with them right i can send them offers i can send them information i can sell them repeated products i can give them crazy offers so in terms of promoting uh, products on uh, digital marketing for drop shipping the most primary channels that are used are instagram facebook youtube and uh, google shopping ads thank you sir another question to pradeen yeah. kesi uh, can include the digital marketing in syllabus for degree class uh, any anybody who is uh, curious about digital marketing they will always find out ways to learn about it and when you include that as a part of the curriculum there there was there are certain drawbacks to that in my opinion so if you include that in a curriculum uh, people have this uh, mindset where this they only look at it like how they look at your textbooks but unfortunately if you start looking at digital marketing it can be anything but not a textbook right so you can technically if you ask me there are colleges who are already doing that and there are people who are already learning digital marketing even before let's say around uh, plus 2 they are already learning it it can be added it will actually give them at least a basic idea of what Uh, digital marketing is uh, but if you really want to uh, look at it i think more practical exposure has to be given to them so that they can learn something out of it okay so thank you there is another question from kel adaraju yeah no. uh, let me scope for uh, digital marketing teaching scope for digital teaching yeah exactly right in terms of using digital medium to teach or is it uh, teaching it. about digital marketing i actually i'll tell you both so uh, talking about digital marketing guys there will come a, a time when people will start paying for uh, digital marketing updates now this is my prediction i may be wrong but i don't think i will i will uh, i will be wrong in because i feel strongly about it we used to pay 2 rupees or 3 rupees per day for newspapers all of us remember that there will be a time when you will start paying for digital marketing news also there are some websites who are already selling it i have a report about how coca cola has achieved millions of dollars in the last 30 days they make that into a report with a lot of data and they sell it so i don't see a problem in digital marketing training being sold as a service it will keep on going for at least the next 25 to 30 years but if you're talking about teaching in terms of digital media it's already happening i recently saw i think last night i saw an ad for white hat junior which is a coding app for kids they're already getting very aggressive very creative with with ads about how teaching online can really help where kids can actually build mobile apps the biggest competition in my opinion very soon like will be an mba competing with a with a seventh standard kid you we will see that situation because both of them are, have access to the same amount of information so digital marketing training will the scope is extremely huge while the scope of teaching digitally using digital medium is even becoming better every day uh, so one more question from el subramaniam yeah please explain the digital marketing careers so what what are the careers in digital marketing so apart from doing things on your own like a youtube or a drop shipping every digital marketer every company today i'm pretty sure uh, even your management team also has somebody even though they are not designated as a digital marketing manager is doing things digital which are which are digital marketing already so every company in the world today including a real estate company and a vendor who supplies windows to a real estate builder needs people who are specialized in digital marketing so there will be a time there is already a time where companies are aggressively hiring people Uh, who are skilled in digital marketing but 
there there cannot be anybody who is skilled in all the aspects of digital marketing like somebody can't be a seo specialist scm specialist google ads specialist facebook specialist email marketing specialist it is not possible so choose two to three areas which actually appeal to you strongly work hard on that build your skill set on that and then start looking at how that matters one biggest area that i i see uh, there is a huge demand uh, in the next 3 years at least, for sure is data analytics when it comes to digital marketing everybody teaches you yes. how to create campaigns like if you look at the training courses in india today everybody is is trying to teach you from 10 rupees course to a 99 rupees course which i feel is a useless model but they give you information about how do you create a campaign but that is not important because what is important is how do you analyze a campaign i ran a campaign now i i created a, i mean you guys created a zoom webinar we did the webinar now what is the quality of the webinar how many people liked it disliked it is the data behind that now that data will start getting a lot of importance in the next few years so my suggestion to anybody who is looking at digital marketing as a career please focus strong along with digital marketing campaign creation etc have a strong emphasis on data analytics also thank you sir there's another question from venu gopal yeah uh, is the digital marketing successful at rural areas yes yes uh, there is there was actually a study done uh, last year that i think 36 or 37% of videos uh, made on tiktok came from rural areas of india i know that there is the number is higher but i'm i'm giving you a lower number there was a range 37 to 54 or something like that so that amount of videos actually came on tiktok from rural areas right and if you start looking at people leveraging digital marketing people are buying stock from uh, let's say cities like hyderabad and they're actually selling things using whatsapp groups on and facebook groups and that's digital marketing for them to be very honest they're not running ads but they're leveraging the digital marketing platforms to do these business operations every day so rural areas i think there is a strong potential this one more question from kv nagaraj yeah uh, his question is that suppose students are taking up any project work yeah. which are the areas which they can work um <clears throat> see i would say a project work will be a deciding factor for your future interviewers to know more about you uh-huh. right so don't chase the trend don't look at what is more trending because i have done the mistake when i was in mba uh, i chose the trend but i didn't know much about the trend so i failed literally not not in the exam but i failed to deliver the the expectation i did only 40% good but i could have done 70% good if i did something really good so my suggestion is if you are into mba marketing especially into mba marketing look at how look at a case study of how things started very very small and how that business actually scaled up using digital media have the facts and figures talk more about the strategy these companies employed than looking at what campaigns they ran ads upon uh, there are uh, i'll i'll give you a small example maybe slightly uh, uh, it is not related to your project wise but i'll give you how you can turn disadvantages into advantages there is a client that i run ads for in brazil so he has a, a yoga retreat called the elephant yoga retreat so he gets people participants from all across the world and they teach them yoga workshops for 3 days now because of covid that got ruined right nobody was traveling and it got shut down now he was i was talking to him the other day just to see how things are and he tells me that he has a friend who runs three italian restaurants in brazil where people come you serve italian food and then they they go right now because of covid all three restaurants are shut down but he did something very interesting he started selling raw pasta which means he is not not cooked pasta but he started making that pasta and selling it and guess what when he did that he was making more money than he made when that all three restaurants were open so he completely shut down those three restaurants and started looking at selling only pasta fresh made pasta that you can take home and cook right so look at what the trend is get an idea see if the trend is in line with your with your liking if you don't like it don't follow the trend pick up something that you are really interested about preferably in digital marketing talk about the entire evolution of a brand talk more about strategies i think if you include these elements in your project i think it will be a good idea that's all the questions from the audience so i think we'll get more questions meanwhile you can address the questions from the zoom participants sure
Hello, sir. Good morning. Morning. My name is Chaitanya, sir. Uh, I'm a first year MBA grad, MBA student. Yeah. So uh, recently, I have subscribed to intense web trainings of digital marketing. Right. So may I know if any other website or an app is providing much better than those services? Uh, see, I think you will be a better judge to see who is giving you the best information. Uh, mm-hmm. I would suggest at least initially don't invest a lot of money in paid training programs. because right now everybody is is only after making money right because they know covid everybody is at sitting home and possibly the easiest target is mba graduates so yeah. so don't fall for that trap uh, okay. more th- i would say more than looking at who has the best content or curriculum see who is directly influencing you see if he, if this guy whatever this guy talks about or teaches you if that appeals to you that's more important second they should also be willing to provide you support in terms of questions if you have any questions after that they should be willing to help even if you don't pay them money so choose something like that okay but and it's a limited version yes yes it's a limited version but but see you have to do a combination of these sites you have to do a combination of youtube do some self study look at help centers almost every ad platform has a help center like google ads has a help center Can I can I know what module you're you're learning at the moment? Sir, I just recently started. Sir, just yesterday, they were uh, telling about the blog, creating a blog, right, and right. Uh, how to detect from which source they are the website is getting the clients and all. Right, like that. right, right. See, I would say start off with something more uh, easier, right? For example, you're an MBA grad, right? Uh, start. Yeah. See, guys, any MBA grad with excellent amount of web development knowledge versus an average mba student with a decent understanding of how to run ads on platforms the guy with average knowledge and a knowledge of how to run ad platforms will any day be preferred by companies than somebody who is extremely technical in something so identify where the opportunities are okay. and start looking at that if you start if you learn how to run ads on these platforms that will any day make it may put you in a better spot because you can do multiple things okay so, so, so i would say realign your your uh, strategy start looking at something for example i'll give you a better suggestion don't assume or don't think that i'm promoting my own thing here uh, sure. this this is a free module that i anyway spoke to you about so register yeah. for the free module and see what these sessions are if it if it uh, satisfies you in terms of the content in terms of the delivery in terms of uh, the support that you get i think that should be a good any any platform any training program these three things should be there how oh, great sir also uh, you were telling about affiliate marketing right yes so uh, may i know you will be teaching that directly what is that say that again affiliate marketing yeah so uh, you will be going going in depth of it or uh as in you would want to learn more about affiliate marketing is what you mean yeah yeah we could do that uh, so the thing is affiliate marketing is it's a combination of everything so you, the affiliate marketing is not a separate module in affiliate marketing you will know how to run ads on google facebook instagram how do you track them so there is a, a module that's coming up but i think it will take at least another two months to to for that to fructify right now we are looking at uh, the free modules for google ads that we are making now once that's done we will switch to something called as chatbots and social media then we will talk about affiliate marketing uh in in our programs as such sure yeah. thank you for your research. welcome uh, so there is a question from hello, hello. yeah uh, uh yes sir uh, i am jashwant uh, so i have a small question yeah jashwant uh, so uh, since this digital marketing has come and also the uh, advanced and modern technologies like artificial intelligence has come into uh, playing yes. a major upfront uh, era yes. so uh, how do you throw some uh, insight on like uh, ai enabled chat bots in right. trying to transform the digital marketing strategy right they are actually uh, turning the whole digital marketing ecosystem upside down right uh, so let's assume that if there are two people who started working on digital marketing in 2005 if if you look at if one of them has not learned anything if he has only stuck to one platform the other guy has looked at other platforms and he has evolved over time you will see how they started at the same point but they are at, at completely different ends today so ai is transforming things so much today 
that earlier about 10 years ago when i was doing whatever i was doing at google they're all automated now which means that you should you should not spend time doing manual tasks anymore but you should use your mind to make better decisions so ai is not taking away your jobs ai is only uh, automating the repeated tasks that humans don't have to do right so yes. ai enabled chatbots not just give you information they actually predict your way of thinking and they actually direct you wherever they want you to go if you if you look at a magician a magician is almost always successful because he can almost predict your outcomes if he says choose these two cards he will he knows which card you you're going to choose he will design it in such a way that you will only choose that card right so similarly if you look at chatbots a chatbot is devised in such a way that that they understand your flow of thought process they know okay when somebody here comes here i will greet them i will give them only two options either do you want to contact me or do you want to look at my products right either way they are benefited if you go to their products you will get to look at their products if you look at to contact them they will get your email id not just an email id facebook is even even clever they get a handle of your facebook profile which they will add to your audience then they'll start running ads against you going forward so that's how ai is transforming things every day and in fact that's something which which is covered under a module called as marketing automation when we talk about it yeah but that's a good question though yeah thank you sir uh, and also with your permission i would like to add one uh, one of my experience sure. uh, to previous uh, speaker i mean previous uh, audience yeah. that is like uh, krishna chaitanya was asking some question like uh, what is the best course to be decided or chosen yes. like uh, since i am more into a technological platform rather than the business uh, uh, way right. so i would like to add that uh, there is one platform called coursera yeah that you may be even aware of yes. so i think uh, krishna chaitanya can just uh, explore that digital and yes. online marketing in the space of coursera and uh, uh, edx.org yes. the kind of platform yes. where they can he can apply some kind of financial aid assistance so he can uh, uh, get leverage of uh, you know like uh, exploring various courses from london business school and also right. university of colorado etc right. so where uh, it is a kind of four to six week course and also he can get some good go- global exposure what i right. think right right so i'm i'm completely aware of what what you're talking about in fact i yes. work with a client who is into artificial intelligence and machine learning oh, so good. these guys develop apps and they also have modules that they that they train people regularly on So yeah, when exactly. when I interact with these guys and when I started looking at how they also have a Coursera alternative, right? So yeah. in my opinion and in my experience, and I know I'm I can I can talk I'm qualified enough to talk about this because I've seen it practically. Oh, okay. Any of the things if you're talking about London School of Business, if you're talking about Coursera, if you're talking about uh, EDX, uh, all of these four to six week program modules that you have, they only give you a framework. Okay. They they will. not enable you to get deep dive analysis of what's happening and they will not enable you to come out and say that okay this is what i can i can do you they will enable you to talk more about them but you will not be enabled to 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 do these things practically is what the general consensus that i got okay sure yeah thank you sir you're yeah, welcome so there is one question from saravan and krishna sami sure Uh, so the question is that uh, what is your suggestion whether we could include digital marketing as an academic subject in management? That would be uh, see uh, how do I say this? Uh, forgive forgive me for this example, but uh, let's assume that you're in a relationship with somebody and you like the girl, you really love the girl, right? So you fight with your family, you you get married to the girl. Now she's your wife. Uh, there is a huge difference, right? The way you behave with your wife now is completely different. like how you you treated your girlfriend i think it's a it's a classic example that gets replicated when you add it to a curriculum because it will just start becoming another subject and we will start getting getting little curious about uh what the subject now we will start looking at it just like another subject we will start looking at it a way to get more marks or more percentage but it loses its charisma it loses its charm of what digital marketing is as it is plus if you include that in a curriculum you will have to change your syllabus every 6 months because it gets it gets changed and it gets redefined every 3 to 6 months krishna any other questions krishna ma'am any other questions
somebody is asking one question i think uh, dr meera shetty ujjwala madam meera shetty question is pending uh in youtube are here two participants raised hand wait yeah yeah you can see in zoom suresh yes, shetty yes. also yeah please please coordinate i think there is some technical problem with krishna madam you please carry on ujjwala madam you please carry on ujjwala madam madam you please unmute uh, meera city she has raised the hand sir i am trying yes, sir yes, so this is mon shankar yeah. i am trying yes okay mon shankar if he is not connected please go to suresh reddy yes sir it's already done sir unmute okay, it then it's okay it's okay it's okay I request Meera Sethi to ask question. I think she left. I think. Okay. Sir, I am back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I got it disconnected. Okay, sir. I have few questions. Uh, sure. Question. Okay. Sir, uh, will you uh, sell your heating press machine if you are not using it? <laughs> I I I could I could do that. I could do that. Okay, sir. So another Yeah, so I'll I'll just give you the overview of uh, the podcasting user base in India at the moment. Uh, before that, let me ask you a few questions so that we will arrive at the answer. Uh, are you uh, do you consume content on YouTube? Oh my God, hello. Pardon, sir. Do you consume content on YouTube? Hello, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, if you when you consume content on YouTube, how long can you watch a video without forwarding it or without scrolling it? Uh, if the video is very interesting, then I will be watching the full video. Correct. If I don't find it interesting, then definitely I won't. Right. So overall, there are uh, very few videos which are which can grab that attention. Most of the videos we just scroll through. If it's more than six minutes, I'm like I'm not doing it now. I'll do it later, unless it's very important. Right. Okay. Podcasting lets you let let that content go in the background. while you actually doing everything you can while youtube you will not you will you will always need that video and if you if you go change your screen from youtube to another app your youtube will start stop playing but podcasting apps can run in the background so there are a few technical advantages that these things have uh, which actually people are shifting towards to now from youtube to uh, podcasting Uh, for example i never thought i will be somebody who would be interested in a podcasting because i'm more like a visual guy i need things to be seen but slowly i see that shift happening and i myself i'm looking at podcasts than youtube videos the subscriber base or in terms of anything related to digital marketing india will always have a killer advantage because of the population right so if you're talking about if you're talking about i mean i mean where more, thanks to geo and other uh, service providers where smart technologies are accessible to even an, even somebody who drives uh, an auto now or who drives an uber now right so with that i think if there is something that you can appeal to him about uh, movie promotions especially i see podcasting really being helpful because it can reach out to the masses with one app for free now that's a huge promotion for a movie right so i don't think podcasting will go anywhere it will it will only succeed because of the huge uh, population in india and i think it will be a huge user base okay so sir one last question from yeah, me yeah sure uh, is there any age for uh, learning digital marketing or whether it's restricted to youngsters only or whether an old person can learn it uh see it it is it is a very uh, customizable solution for example it depends on you if you are interested i know people who uh, like my mom i think it happened last night 
uh, there was some puja that, that that she that that was going on and then she recorded it and she broadcasted it to all her whatsapp contacts and this was a lady who had no idea apart from the green and red buttons on a phone right she didn't know anything apart from that a couple of years ago now she's broadcasting groups she's doing it on facebook it depends it's completely up to you yeah if you really want to go ahead and learn things and if you're interested if you can put in the time and patience you can there's absolutely no age limit the oldest lady that i know uploading videos on youtube was 101 or 1 years old right okay. and if you look and if you look at other countries it's it's even better like 95 year olds talking about their life experiences uh, healing etc so i think i think there is no age limit thank you so much sir there are uh, that's all the questions from youtube i think we can move on to any soon questions sure Any questions from the participants? Please raise your hand. Hope there is no questions. It's and one announcement Dr. for Dr. the participants. Uh, Please proceed. Vote feedback. Carry on. Carry on. The, the participants who um, enroll your registration through Zoom platform, you just find the link in the WhatsApp group where you already uh, um, added in that particular group. And for YouTube viewers, we already given link in the chat box. Please go through that link in the chat box, and you can give your feedback. if you are fail to provide feedback certificates cannot be provided to you so feedback is mandatory in case if any of the persons are facing problem related to feedback links and all you can contact personally uh, coordinator and co coordinators to get that link so feedback is compulsory mandatory you need to Hello, in not it's yes please ask somebody called proceed may you please proceed ujwala madam you please complete it yes sir i have given the instructions by the okay good right. oh thanks okay now i request dr j murthy associate professor Department of MBA, Sri Vidya Niketan Institute of Management, to propose vote of thanks. Over to you, sir. Mr. Sir, please mute yourself and give your. Yeah, Madam, am I audible now? Yes, you are audible. Please proceed. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Good morning to our speaker, uh, director, sir, participants, and my dear colleagues. It's my privilege to propose vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of Sri Vidya Niket Institute of Management, propose my most sincere thanks to our beloved chairman, Dr. M. Mohan Bhagwaru, and CEO Vishnu Manchu, for providing. yeah madam uh, somebody is uh, muting my uh, audio uh, yeah i am continuing uh, please carry on uh, yeah yeah we, we would like to thank our uh, chairman sir and uh, ceo sir for providing us all the required infrastructure to conduct this sort of online webinars i also extend a very hearty thanks to the today's guest speaker mr krishna chaitanya founder of uh, digital titans who spared his valuable time in spite of his uh, busy schedule sir today you have provided uh, provided all the inputs to the participants for better careers in digital marketing industry once again thank you sir uh, thank thanks you sir lot. pleasure is mine thank you Th thank you sir thank uh, we also thank our director professor n gurunath yes, naidu sir for his constant support and encouragement in shaping and organizing this webinar i must also thank and appreciate coordinator of uh, today's uh, webinar dr b ujwala 
for taking up all the risks in conducting this wonderful webinar for all of us. Thank you, madam. I extend my sincere thanks to uh, my fellow co-coordinator, Srimadhi Krishna, ma'am, my colleagues in both the departments of MBA and MCA, non-teaching staff, and technical team, in particular, Mr. K. Sarvanan and Mr. Rahmatullah uh, for their continuous support in making this webinar a grand success. Thank you, sirs and madam. On this occasion, I also thank Mr. Murishankar, Assistant Professor, Sri Vidyanikiran Degree College, for providing us all the help in conduction of this webinar without any technical disturbances. Thank you, sir. Finally, I sincerely thank all the participants for your active participation in this uh, today's webinar. I also request all the participants to extend same kind of cooperation and support for our upcoming webinars uh, during this uh, month. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity to propose what of thanks. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, sir. And I would like to inform there is two webinars are going to be held for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, we have ethical hacking uh, related uh, to MPA issues. And um, afternoon, 4 p.m., we have uh, one more webinar. Shortly, we are going to send those details to your mail address. So please do attend those uh, webinars and also the upcoming webinars. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you, one and all. So can I end the meeting? Yes, Ma, you can, you can end the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you